tuning into CNN, the Cannabis News Network. <laughs> I'm Walter Bonglein. <laughs> With me this evening is Route County Sheriff Starrett Biggins. <laughs> who made headlines recently with his stance on Amendment 64. I suppose that's correct. <laughs> Some people, they don't like my stance. <laughs> See, my stance. <laughs> now, Sheriff, you have stated that Amendment 64 is unenforceable. That's right. My crack legal mind has decipherized that Amendment 64 Due to marijuana's federal illegalness and its general hippie nature, is 100% unenforceable. But sure, doesn't enforcing Amendment 64 simply entail doing nothing? Which we all know is a law enforcement specialty of yours. <laughs> the doing of nothing. Except when said doing of nothing conflicts with our deepest moral values. Now, as you may recall, before being elected sheriff, due to my lack of drunk drivingness, <laughs> I happened to lead our crack squadron of drug abuse investigators asshat. <laughs> but sheriff, how does being morally opposed to drug use render Amendment 64 Unenforceable. Glad you asked, man. That is simple. Amendment 64 is unconstitutional, ergo unenforceable. But, Sheriff, it's actually in the Colorado State Constitution. <laughs> That's the definition of constitutional. <laughs> Seriously, man? Do you know what? It's not in my Constitution, and that is the only Constitution that matters. So you have your own private constitution? Well, that's right. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, hell yeah, I got my own constitution. I keep it my nuts at. Between my giant balls, people. Hey, man, I'll show it to you, right? Oh,
tuning in to CNN, the Cannabis News Network. I'm Walter Bonlight signing off, and remember, we report, you get high. Yeah. <laughs>